people often talk about the golden age of Hollywood. It conjures up images of glitz and glamour, all told on a black and white LA canvas. It makes us think of movie stars like Jimmy Stewart, Cary Grant, and Ingrid Bergman, all giving performances that entertained a sold out theater. But when was the golden age of Hollywood? To learn more about the golden age of Hollywood, we'll need to start back at the beginning of the movie industry. Okay, not that far back. What I'm talking about is the silent era of film, which began in the early 1910s and ended in the late 1920s. While the silent era is not usually considered part of the golden age, we clearly see an industry that's starting to come into its own. Movies were the new kid on the block. They were cool, flashy, and most of all, they entertained everyone. From new immigrants to the upper class. This was the era of the movie palace, a time when films were shown in massive elegant theaters usually reserved for live theater or musical performances. They were even easier on the pocketbook compared to these other forms of entertainment. Even the lower class could afford to dress up and have a night on the town watching films in an awe-inspiring atmosphere. In 1927, something special happened in movies. Wait a minute, wait a minute, you ain't heard nothing yet. People loved talking pictures, and they instantly wanted more. But this itself was not enough to bring about a golden age. Instead, Hollywood's golden reign began with something far more tragic. When the stock market crashed in 1929, people became more conscious of their personal budgets. Grand entertainment like theater and music were not economically viable for most. However, people still wanted to be entertained in order to forget their day-to-day -day troubles. Movies being the cheapest option began to make record profits. They told great stories that gave people hope during a time when there wasn't much. And then in 1939, something big happened. During World War II, there was a lot of restrictions on the use of resources, especially for travel. This meant everyone had to stay close to home. At the time, most small towns had their own movie theater, so there was no need to travel a great distance. Hollywood took advantage and continued to rake in the money, while delighting audiences with patriotic stories. The Hollywood studio system was in full swing. Movie stars became the biggest celebrities in what was the birth of modern pop culture. Even after the war ended, the good times continued. However, the beginning of the 1950s saw a threat emerge. And here it is, the greatest advance in television since color television itself. The ultimate in performance and convenience. The technology for television had been around for a while, but it was in the 1950s that it really started taking off. People began staying home instead of going to the movies. The Hollywood antitrust case in 1948 was another blow. The US Supreme Court ruled that the studios could no longer own their own theaters, since it gave them an unfair monopoly. For the studios, this was a considerable hit to their finances. Television and the antitrust case brought the golden age of Hollywood to a close. Ever since, the industry has been in gradual decline. And that leads us to where we are today, 
a movie industry struggling to keep people in the theaters. But who knows, maybe someday some of that golden age Hollywood magic will be recaptured. <laughs>